Any other questions? Yes, gentleman at the front. Uh, just a couple of questions, uh, probably from Fiona, I would think. Um, at the planning stage, do you need to show a track record of already moving towards your goals, or is it just a wish list? Um, another one, if the client uses the NDIA to manage funding, what process will the NDIA use to choose the provider? Orders, okay. Um, and who is responsible for costing the items in your plan when you actually go to apply? Um, yes, the, the, with the selecting a provider, you choose the provider or providers. Um, costing, every state and territory has its own pricing list. They're all, all the prices are very, very similar, but when the NDIS starts in Queensland, um, there will be a really detailed pricing list that will be made available. The pricing is based on um, on existing support pricing at the moment. It might fluctuate a little bit, but it gives you a pretty good picture of, of the prices that are being paid. For example, personal support is uh, costed out at about $39 an hour. And the first question, sorry, I've forgotten it. Uh, in the planning, do you have to show a track record of moving towards a goal, or is it just a wish list? Um, when your plan is reviewed, do you mean? Um, it, it's not really um, rigid, but no, the, the NDIA is looking for you to show if you are moving towards that goal. It doesn't mean you have to achieve it, and it doesn't mean that if you don't achieve the goal, you will lose your funding. It just it's trying to be tangible and useful. So if you're not achieving the goal, why is that? You know, what can the NDIA do to help you achieve that? Any other questions? Yes, lady at the back, and then we'll take this one over here next. And the other one. Is... Hi, my name's Vicky Lyons. Um, I'm going back to the question about the planning and the goals and the funding. Hopefully it's very simple. If you achieve your goal, but it's an ongoing goal, as in like, for example, you need supports coming to you every day to help you stay in the home independently. Does that funding continue on? You've achieved the goal, you've got the person coming in, or do you then have to find the funding for ongoing? For ongoing goals, such as getting out of bed and doing whatever it is that you want to do, no, the funding stays. The funding stays for as long as you need it to achieve those ongoing goals. Thank you. Okay, we have another question, the second back row here. I'm wondering about um, the number of people, I think it was mentioned there were about 500 um, support worker or um, planners that are going to be going out and doing these conversations. Is that enough and um, how long is it going to take in order to get an appointment with one of these people? And will the funding, state funding continue until we get an appointment and then also um, if the 12 months is up and we're still waiting for an appointment with somebody, will funding continue the way that it was? Funding continues under the current system until your NDIS plan is activated. Um, and the 500 number that I referred to was um, an estimate of the number of local area coordinators that would be working with the agency. The local area coordinators, or everyone calls them LACs, we've got about 80 odd in Queensland now employed by the Queensland Government. They help people um, do their plans, um, find the supports they need and actually activate their plans. The people who um, have facilitated a conversation to develop the plan are called planners, NDIS planners. I don't know how many planners will be employed yet, but um, the goal is to get it happening as fast and efficiently as possible. Okay, sorry. Um, hi, my question is that people that are diagnosed are able to get on the system, but what about the people that have an extremely debilitating physical disability but don't exactly have a diagnosis for it? Do they still qualify for the NDIS? Okay. 
Thank you. I'm being greedy, I know, but um, for the parents, was the funding provided by the NDI sufficient for the services you applied for, or did you have to go to a lowest common denominator? No. No, it, we've got sufficient funds to cover the boys in the house, and yeah, and it's working well. We, we have an individual plan for each boy, and then we have a group one for the, for the house. So our costs are split actually three ways, which makes it very affordable. But, but the message from Steph and Diane is you've got to do your planning. You've got to be prepared. Right? The, I was looking up at the Latin for this school, nil sin palver, nothing without effort. It's just a coincidence, we didn't plan it. But, um, but that, that is the message, you know, keep that diary, be, be prepared. And, and the consequence is there is sufficient support there. The, the funding has, there's more funding coming into the system. And, and the NDIA, I, I'm not sure um, if Fiona um, uh, said this, the, the NDIA uh, is a learning organisation and as it goes along, it's learning and taking feedback better than just about any government agency I've ever come across. So, th so now's the opportunity to set up the scheme uh, for, for, for generations to come and, and certainly the NDIA is helping to do that. They only said no when I asked them if I could have an iPad. And it was very quick to say no. <laughs> um, and you're in the ideal op um, situation that you're like, you know, 12 months or so out from NDIA, so you've got plenty of time to do your diary, look at what you want and talk to your loved one. So you've got, you've got that in your favour. Okay, we'll take one more question and then if you have a question and haven't had the opportunity to, uh, to ask it, please stay back afterwards and you're very welcome to have a bit more morning tea in a chat. Uh, and, yes, hello. I have uh, several questions, but I'll hit the highlight. Um, ongoing maintenance on um, medical aids, such as wheelchairs. If you look at current um, models like KD funding, you're entitled to purchase a wheelchair, but not entitled to things like cushions, straps, extra tyres, tubes, that sort of things with that sort of funding. Will that funding be available for ongoing medical needs like wheelchairs, for example? Yes. On, in, the, in the website, there, in a kind of accommodation, there are descriptions as complex needs and standard needs for people in accommodation. Who, who is going to make that decision? Is it the planner or is it at a higher level? The planner ultimately refers to the NDIA's operational guidelines because that's what the legislation kind of focuses on. But it's an outcome of conversations between you and your loved one and whoever else is important in their lives and has useful knowledge that the NDIS can use to actually work out with you what kind of supports are needed and why. So I, I think you can be confident that as long as your planning is good and you bring people who have good knowledge about the condition of the participant, as well as their needs and, and hopes, then I think you can get, um, you can be confident that, that your views will be reflected fairly in that process. Get it from doctors, um, you, the, if they're in a day program, just get all the documentation you can to support your, your case with your planner. Okay, thanks very much. I'm just gonna hand back to David to, uh, to wrap up. Thank you everyone, once again, feel free to stay on if you want to. Um, firstly, my apologies for going a little over time. Um, thank you for coming along. I hope we've addressed uh, a lot of your questions and, and concerns. Um, I, there were some websites put up there. The, the, the NDIS website is, has a, a wealth of information and people's experiences in there which will uh, help you on, on the journey that you're, you're certainly involved in. Uh, but could I uh, do a special thanks to um, Fiona Anderson from NDIA, 
uh, to Tammy Miles from uh, the Department of uh, Communities, Child Safety and Disability Services, and of course uh, Steph and Diane, who we, as I said, we drag all over Queensland and get them to perform, and they're, they're just fabulous, and I know you'll join me in thanking them for being here today. Thank you.